Welcome to my new addiction. Hey guys, today we're taking a look at the Scan Gauge 2. Now this is an engine data monitoring little computer basically that you can attach to your dash and you use this to view all sorts of information about what's happening with your engine. This is not a tuner. You're not modifying anything with regard to your engine. You're simply monitoring what's going on with your engine. Your engine is constantly producing this information, but in the stock dash setup, you have no way to really view it. There are a couple of pitiful little dash gauges in the Ford six liter that don't really give you much information and it's not terribly accurate. Welcome to the cab of Seymour, our Ford F-250. Today we're going to install a scan gauge 2 that we got at Bulletproof Diesel in Mesa, Arizona when Seymour is getting bulletproofed. And the one we got there uh, is 6 liter pre-programmed. And that's something that uh, the Bulletproof Diesel guys have already like pre-configured. It's not returnable once open, <laughs> but if you have a 6 liter Ford, then if you get it at Bulletproof Diesel, it's pre-programmed for your truck apparently, which is kind of nice because otherwise I guess you'd have to go on the internet and uh, fiddle around with downloading updates and what have you. I just wanted to show you how I'm rigging up the scan gauge. Here's the OBD2 port down here. You just plug one end of your scan gauge cable here. You can run the cable up. And what I'm doing is just tucking it into this panel. And you can see you really don't have to do anything special here because there's two holes on each side of the panel. So run your cable up one side and feed it down the other side. This panel just pops out. So I've just got the cable tucked back in there. Next question is where to put the scan gauge. And logical place really on this truck is here to the left of the steering wheel. I think that probably makes sense. I want to put it pretty far to the left so that I can actually see the display. All right, scan gauge gives you two pieces of Velcro, but I think you really only need one. There's only one will fit on the back, so it's nice of them to give you two. In case you screw up the first one, putting the hook on the gauge itself. Hook and loop. Sounds like a basketball play. I'm just feeding some cable back in here, because I'll probably make this nice and neat later, but for now, I think this is pretty good. And overall, I find the setup works fine, except at night, I am seeing a reflection of the display in the tow mirrors on the driver's side of the truck. So for some of you, that will be a problem. It'll be kind of distracting. Now they do sell a separate mounting kit so you can attach your scan gauge to up to the windshield. And I think that looks like a pretty attractive setup, except you're also going to still have to route the cable up there to it. With the scan gauge 2, you're going to see specific detailed numbers for data like your engine oil temperature, your engine coolant temperature, your transmission fluid temperature, and your FICM voltage. So you can guess what for pieces of data that I've configured our scan gauge to to display. Now this thing will read at least a dozen different PIDs. What's really important is that you put the ones on the display that matter to you. EOT, that's engine oil temperature. IPR, engine pressure regulator percentage. BST is turbo boost. FMP is the FICM main power in volts. VGT tells you about your variable geometry turbocharger. ICP, injector control pressure. ECT, your engine coolant temperature, very important. TFT, transmission fluid temperature, very important. EBT, exhaust back pressure. FLP, FICM logic power. VLT is your battery voltage, and FIA, your intake air temperature. And the point is, You'll know what's going on with your truck and you talk to somebody like Bulletproof Diesel, you'll be able to explain to them exactly what's going on because you'll be able to relate that information from your scan gauge 
to the technicians. And bulletproof diesel in the instructions for the scan gauge two indicates that if you see a difference of more than 15 degrees Fahrenheit between your oil temperature and your coolant temperature, then your factory oil cooler may not be functioning properly and you better get it checked out because if you're running a factory oil cooler in one of these six liter engines and you begin to see that kind of difference in your temperatures, your factory oil cooler may be clogged up. It may not be functioning properly and that is going to go downstream and affect your EGR cooler and your engine could potentially overheat and you're going to have all sorts of problems. So a scan gauge two can be a critical tool to have to monitor what's really going on with your engine and catch these problems before they manifest and become catastrophic. The display is not the most intuitive in the world and that's putting it mildly. When you first get this thing, if you've never had a data monitor before, you're going to be a little bit confused by it because you've got basically four little white buttons here that will toggle amongst all the different information displays that are available to you. And then on the bottom, you've got another white button that's outlined in red that serves as sort of a home button. Any one of these little corners of the scan gauge can display any one of the different parameters that you're monitoring. So all you have to do is just toggle on these things, push in the little white button until you get specific bit of information that you want. You know, you can use this thing as kind of a little trip computer if you want. I know some of you guys have asked how Seymour's running since we had him bulletproofed, and the answer is absolutely great. I really think the truck is running probably better than it did when it was new. We've got those new injectors going for us. The oil cooler's doing a great job of keeping the engine oil temperatures in check. And uh, yes, I'm monitoring that with my scan gauge too. And I really notice a difference in power. And I think that's attributable to the clean turbocharger. Because you'll recall Bulletproof Diesel really broke apart completely and thoroughly cleaned and reassembled our turbocharger. And so we are getting full boost even with a stock setup, our truck produces right around 570 foot-pounds of torque. And if we add a tuner, uh, Seymour will be producing even more than that. And since we do have those head studs in the truck, I think we probably will be adding a tuner soon. Just don't tell my wife. So that's it, guys. Scan Gauge 2. Again, we got ours at Bulletproof Diesel. If you got a 6.0 or 6.4, that's the place to get it. We'll put some links in the YouTube description for this video so you can pick one up if you haven't already. If you are new here, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you want notifications whenever we post a new video, click that little bell next to the subscription button. As always, thanks for tuning in and Lolo Ho.